Okay, hey, we're looking to another episode of On the Rest from Off the Cuff. Today, I have a really cool feature for you today from the brand Crown and Buckle. A little bit about them, they were established back in 2011. They are US based and they were originally founded out of Florida, but now headquartered out of Charlotte, North Carolina. They're pretty much a renowned <laughs> online watch strap store offering custom styled high quality nylon and leather straps at reasonable price points yes reasonable this is actually probably the most expensive strap of theirs that i've ever reviewed um, this is their latest rendition of their chevron strap which is really a, a great strap on its own but this is in the noble variant and these go for almost 50 dollars at 49.99 direct and essentially it's kind of their take on the best getting better um, it's their exclusive Chevron strap, um, but you know, with some new innovations to lead the market uh, within that kind of affordable luxury watch strap space. So what it does is it really raises the bar with an all new chamfered hardware um, setup, right? Which these are CNC machined from solid 316L stainless steel. You're also getting that jacquard style uh, nylon, which that texture and kind of brilliance is really unlike any other, um, and it really just adds an elevated and luxurious aesthetic. So these are really, really nice. The thickness, they're super thin, guys, 1.3 millimeters. The length is uh, basically adjustable, but it's about a 10 inch strap, which I think is great for single pass. And then the buckle type has this great adjustable kind of ladder style. Um, I'll be kind of showcasing the Noir version, which is the black one on my Seiko Prospects SPB 137 Slim Turtle and the, uh, you know, Chevron Noble Blue Argent on my Glycine Combat Sub 39 in blue. And I think uh, these are outstanding pairings. Uh, for me, the thing that really makes these fun are that uh, they're perfect for slim dive watches. I mean, of course, you know, nylon straps are great for really any type of watch, field watches, flight watches, even certain kind of casual everyday watches look really great on these types of straps. But for me, where like the market is really lacking is for something for a slim dive watch because you get, you find a slim dive watch you like, right? And then you, the last thing you want to do is add extra thickness uh, by putting it on this type of strap. So the nice thing is when you have something that is just really fine-tuned and, and I think perfect for this type of situation, um, it's something to kind of be celebrated. So with that said, a bit of a long intro, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get these pieces in hand and take a closer look. All right, guys, so with every one of these straps, Crown and Buckle actually send you a little adjustment guide and it is very easy to understand. So I won't even go into how to set these because I think they do a great job. I'd say the main thing is when you are uh, putting some extra slack in this side, put extra because then it just makes it that much easier to pull the underneath. Um, and honestly, for me, since I have a slightly larger wrist, I actually didn't have to do too much adjusting to get these to really fit perfectly. So we'll go ahead and put that there in the corner. And then, hey, why do I have this? What is this for somebody we're seeing? It's a Douglas Field Lighter. And again, it kind of just ties into the overall theme here, guys. Uh, something that is a field lighter. It's meant to be really a tool, but here in the year 2022, we kind of celebrate those types of tools, right? We like the longevity, something that's made for a lifetime, right? Something that goes back to old school mechanics, mechanical dive watches. Hey, um, also some really great, highly finished and, you know, really fantastic materials used in these straps. So I don't know, for me, I guess it just kind of all fit together. Um, and for those of you guys that do like to have nice things in your pocket, hey, this is one of the most beautiful lighters you can get and it just works really, really well. So I'll put that off to the side. So now we get to these two watches. And what do these two watches have in common? They're slim, guys. Uh, the, the Slim Turtle, I mean, it's even in its nickname, is actually Seiko's thinnest prospects diver to date in terms of having a mechanical movement inside, right? So this is actually just 12 and a half millimeters, whereas the glycine is even thinner at 11.3 millimeters. So you gotta love these watches for their thinness. And then it's one of those things where as an enthusiast, right, you think, all right, let me put it on a strap. I've, you know, I've put this on various tropics, this one as well, sailcloth, all that stuff, different types of NATOs. But one thing that kind of always comes back 
is, I mean, I love a nylon pass-through strap just because it's an enthusiast choice, right? Like, yeah, you might accidentally buy a really cool dive watch, right? And not be an enthusiast, but you won't accidentally put it on, you know, a nylon strap. So for me, that's kind of that secret nod to other watch enthusiasts that says, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a watch guy. I'm not just wearing a nice watch. So I don't know, there's something about that. Leave me a comment on what you guys think about that idea in the comments below. I mean, I've been to a couple meets and honestly, even just out on the streets, it's hard to find somebody. I mean, unless it's a dedicated field watch where they're putting it on a strap, let alone an aftermarket strap. That's another thing. This screams aftermarket, it screams customization. It says, hey, here's what I did because I like this that much. I'm enthusiastic about it. So we'll start with the simple one here first in the, uh, you know, with the black setup and you can see the stitching on here, the, I should say the pattern is really, really nice. It's, it's not, it's weird cause it's, it's not super tight, but it's not a super loose weave at the same time. It, it's, it's a tight weave, but there's quite a bit of dimension to it, which typically for a tight weave, you're gonna get something that looks very smooth and kind of seatbelt like here. You're getting a tight weave, but the pattern on the stitch is actually really robust and has kind of a 3D effect to it, which does give it a really nice luster and a sheen to it, which let me just try to you know, show you guys a little bit of that here on camera even with just this very sedate black and this is a true black it's not like uh you know stitching that comes together and make it appear to be black this is a black on black which is great and honestly hard to find in these types of patterns and you can see boom it's only adding that much of extra thickness there and it's giving you of course the peace of mind uh, on in terms of kind of the utilitarian side of that if any of these spring bars fail your watch isn't dropping both spring bars would have to fail which is highly unlikely so in terms of usability that's fantastic and let's get to the main event here some of you guys have probably been screaming at the screen why haven't i showed the hardware yet check out the hardware on here i mean luxury level flat brush there very nice hairline fineness to it and then you're also getting these beautiful bevels let me give them a quick wipe just because they deserve it guys they're that nice so check it out i mean these just are little beams of light on the wrist and you can see very nicely contoured I mean, these definitely compete with some of the higher end um, OEM straps. Uh, and I think in terms of uh, aftermarket, these really are leading the way in terms of just that extra level of one, the material for the nylon to the uh, finishing of the hardware. So, I mean, everything else is in design and man, does this have a good design because you can actually adjust it, right? Which is cool. So you can make it to where it really sits perfectly on your wrist which i'll give you guys an example of that right now with my seiko so i'll go ahead and put that on slide this through kind of a demo i guess let me give it a quick wipe again just because my finger grease is probably uh, gonna be left on there and you can see i got this beautifully centered nice on the wrist doesn't add really any height at all noticeably because it's going to be pushed into your wrist by the case back and check that out. There's just a, a refined elegance about this. I mean, I love this watch for how tooly, you know, the toolish nature, same here, right? Because ultimately that bezel insert is not ceramic. So it does tie into kind of this old school aesthetic and vibe, but man, it just elevates by having it on this strap. So I really, really like that. Let's check this one out. So now you're getting into this beautiful blue argent style and check out the colors. So here's something that's really fantastic about the blue backdrop on here. Take a look as we get closer. Remember how I said the other one was a pure black? This is not a pure blue. It actually has different shades that are stitched together to create visually kind of trick your eye into thinking it's a like a midnight blue but it's really a combination of black and blue stitching the beauty there is that now you're going to be getting an even more intense level in terms of that sheen and the color play and also making it able to match with 
let's say a sun ray dial, right? Because there's so many shades of blue that are out there. Somehow, because there's there's so much variance within how these play with the light, it's gonna find a way to match perfectly without really being too matchy, which I really think is smart. Also here, you're gonna get that beautiful gray center stitch, which just adds again into that vintage aesthetic. That center line looks gorgeous. And you can see that it just creates a very special aesthetic um, that has a very high end quality to it. So whether it's a solid unit here, um, with just one, you know, you're more so appreciating the pattern within the texture of that stitch or the pattern that they give you here with that center line. It just steps it up, right? Uh, it really just, I don't know, it's elevated, right? I think that's the best way to describe it. It just elevates the look of your watch and again it says something out there to the other watch fans that might be nervous about reaching out and saying hey uh, that's a sweet watch once they see something like this they know that hey yeah you went the extra step and honestly these aren't even that expensive 50 bucks the normal ones are 30 so really 20 uh, extra dollars you're getting this crazy hardware and these are competitive with OEM straps that are going to be in the hundred 200 range which i think is pretty cool yes compared to other aftermarket straps will you find other ones that are cheaper yes but crown and buckle is a legit brand and they have a well curated shop they have really nice things so you know in the same way that yes can you find a watch with similar specs as this glycine or with similar specs as this seiko sure you can find similarly spec products that are going to cost less but you don't get that kind of uh, holistic brand identity from that right it's just a cool product here these are not just cool products this is a brand that is really made its kind of a name for itself by creating these really nice products at again crazy like from some of you are like 50 bucks for a nylon strap oh gosh but some of you are like that is amazing because when i looked at these i honestly was thinking they would cost more um I was like, oh, here's the price hike, finally. Um, but at 50 bucks, I think these are actually super reasonable, especially when you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna put this on a timepiece that cost me $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, dollars $5,000. To put it on a $50 strap isn't that crazy, especially when it's finished to such a high level. So. Yeah, that's those are my thoughts on it, guys. I really like this. And I just, I guess I kind of have been wanting to do something in terms of celebrating slim divers. And these are two, I think, great options uh, <clears throat> in the year 2022, uh, even though this is the end of the year that are out there and these straps really can add a lot of character um and it's a very specific character right it's an elevated elegant but also tying into the, kind of the vintage roots of you know early dive watches and i think that's where kind of the thin craze comes from is early watch making when people were all about thinness right like if you can create something and then make it small enough and tidy enough then that is very challenging right it's not just fitting it into something uh so i like that i like that idea i like that era of thinking to say hey it's 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 a showcase of what we can do with technology how good are we yeah we can make what you make we can make it go deeper and be thinner like how cool is that just like in this case right it's slightly thinner than the seiko and it can go deeper at 30 um, atmospheres or 300 meters versus 200 right hey this is no slouch don't get me wrong this is absolutely a true tool watch um from Seiko, which have an amazing lineage. Um, but it's just that idea again of, hey, even in this case, right? Like there's tons of, two, I mean, there are Grand Seiko um, <laughs> divers that only go 200 meters. So it's cool that you can get similar specs, you know, uh, in terms of the capabilities, but then now you're able to get it in a slimmer profile. So yeah, I just, I like that. I think a lot of people out there on the market do enjoy a slimmer watch. So why not a slimmer strap to go with that watch? And yes, it, it's nice to, you know, have a two piece strap on there too, but uh, a single pass, very thin like this, 
Uh, for me, it hits the function points and the aesthetic points, which is hard to come by, especially at this affordable of a price. You think about, I mentioned Tropic rubber straps. Now, if you wanna get the Tropic branded strap, which is very nice and probably one of the finest Tropic straps that are out there, um, full review on the channel, you're gonna be paying like 80 bucks. Um, so those are not cheap here. 50 bucks, and this is honestly one of the finer, especially, I mean, I'd say within this aesthetic, I mean, you can always want something that's a little bit more rugged, um, but in terms of refined, elevated, and just gorgeous that really kind of tie into those thin elements of, uh, hey, let's make it premium, let's make it small, let's make it slim. These guys really do the job. So big shout out to uh, Crown and Buckle. I have bought their products over the years many, many times. And if you guys are fans of the channel or even just my Instagram, you've seen their stuff on there. Um, I actually reached out to them about these for a feature and they were kind enough to lend or send them in. I don't think I'm gonna have to send back straps, uh, but honestly, most of the straps that are featured are you know typically just sent in because I don't really need another 5,000 straps. I, I I have a sickness. I have too many watches and then you multiply the straps. There's even more and honestly in the sea of straps These definitely hold a very special place and I think that they're very 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 nice So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video Please do it like and if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys